my name is Carolyn Volk. I'm a resident of Boise, Idaho at 808 Ranch Road, zip code 83702. I'm a parent and a career educator. I've taught environmental science in informal education center settings for much of my career. As the education coordinator at the city's Foothills Learning Center here in Boise, I've had the pleasure of working with incredible teachers and administrators throughout the Treasure Valley, including many who have served on the Science Standards Committee for these last three long years. As a member of the Idaho Environmental Educators Association for many years, I've also had the opportunity to meet and network with educators from across our state doing great work in districts much smaller than Boise's and with far fewer resources. We would meet at our annual conference to exchange ideas, brainstorm new approaches, and share stories of our successes and our challenges. I was constantly humbled by teachers from small rural communities creating amazing learning opportunities for their students. Whether tapping into their own local experts or plugging their students into citizen science opportunities around the globe through the power of the computer, I was constantly amazed at what they were bringing to their students and how they were bringing learning to life in and outside their classrooms. We are lucky to have such de dedicated educators all across our great state who are bringing state-of-the-art ideas and techniques into their classrooms, often at their own expense. We are lucky that we have teachers who keep up with the research, who are dedicated to exposing their students to current ideas and theories in science. These teachers seek out their local experts, find their local resources to help them bring fresh ideas and challenging concepts into their classrooms. These teachers will teach their students about climate change no matter what the standards include. These teachers are committed to bringing hard questions and critical conversations into their classrooms to make sure their students are prepared for the world they will be living in as adults. But it is not fair to the students across Idaho to have their education and the ideas they are exposed to be dependent on the great fortune of having forward-thinking and dedicated teachers. All kids in Idaho need to be exposed to the same information that reflects the real world that we live in and the real problems that they will need to help solve in their careers. Climate change is a well-accepted reality among scientists today and a critical issue deserving of critical debate among our students. Whether we agree on the cause or not, the issue itself is real and critical for Idaho to be paying attention to. Should I just, is this too long? Keep going. Um, with an office in the heart of the Boise foothills for nine years, I watched significant changes in runoff each year in our local intermittent stream with dry updates as late as July and by the end of my time there as early as April. I witnessed significant changes in the timing of the blooming of wildflowers and critical shrubs and forbs. We watched the foothills dry up earlier and earlier and the fire season become longer and scarier and something we now all think about when pondering our summer backpacking trips into even the highest of elevations, a new reality for many of us in the Intermountain West. We saw variations in timing of the nesting and hatching of our local raptors. The community learned from the BSU graduate students researching these things and that we would invite to speak at our programs about drastic changes in migratory patterns of songbirds and raptors in this region and around the world and changes in the distribution of plant species all across our region which affect the wildlife that depend on them. Idaho farmers are critically aware of significant shifts in growing seasons, fire seasons, and the availability of water. These are real issues for Idaho and ones that we need to be studying and understanding. BSU is full of talented scientists and researchers studying water and fire and climate and its effects on our regions. We are quick to brag about our higher ed institutions and all they have brought to our great state. How can we at the same time deny the students of the future the exposure they need to the information that's so critical to all of us? Climate change is part of the global conversation. We need it to be part of our state and regional conversation so Idaho students today can continue to be part of the conversation tomorrow. I urge the State Department of Education to retain all sections that were omitted during the 2017 legislature se session and ensure that re the revised science standards are considered as a permanent rule during this next session. I'm happy to be part of any effort to help convince our state legislators to vote in the best interest of our students on this issue next year. Thank you.